Hello Nerds, today we are going to study about Jubilee's plant hormone. Jubilee, which is a plant hormone, it performs various functions in the plant. For example, it promotes cell enlargement in the presence of oxygen. It means if the oxygen is present, then it is going to work with the oxygen and they both are going to increase the size of the cell. It also promotes cell division in the apical meristem and cambium. Apical meristem means that the top part here, for example, this is our shoot. So that this top part here, it consists of the cells which are actively dividing. So this is known as apical meristem. So this part here, they are going to promote the cell division here and the stem is going to increase. Along with this in the cambium, it is going to promote the cell division as well. Along with this, it promotes bloating. Bloating means elongation of stem of some rosette plants. For example, here we have the untreated rosette plant. You can see the stems, they are not long. But when we have treated it with the gibberellin, you can see the stem elongation has been taken place. They are going to promote the initiation of shoot in the Chris anthemum callus. So they are going to increase the bud formation here. Fruit growth and it may induce the parthenocarpy. Parthenocarpy is a process in which the fruit is developed without the fertilization process. It means that male and female gametes, they are not fused together. So without their fusion, the fruit development, it takes place. In apical dominance, it enhances the action of auxins. I told you what is apical dominance when I was teaching you the auxins lesson. In the apical dominance, it allows the increase of the length of the shoot and it does not allow any side branching so if the side branches are forming it means there is no apical dominance but if the shoot is increasing in size it means that apical dominance is taking place so gibberellin and auxin they both are performing the apical dominance it break bud and seed dormancy is a period in which the seeds they are inactive so uh, it breaks the seed dormancy and allows them to break down and and form a plant the gibberellin is a substitute of red light and it promotes the flowering in the long day plants and it inhibits in short day plants long day plants means that the plants which are going to grow in uh, summer when the length of the day is very long and they are going to inhibit or stop their flowering in the plants which are going to grow during the winter when the day is short it also causes delay in leaf aging means that they are not going to allow the leaf to become old there are many uh, commercial applications of gibberellins for example if we have ga uh, hormone and uh, it promotes the fruiting in pear and tangerines along with the seedless fruits by parthenocarpy and it also increases the berry size here you can see the size of the grapes is very small but when you apply the ga hormone the size of the grape is increased when ga3 is used it is helped in the breeding industry to stimulate alpha amylase production in barley and this promotes the malting now what is malting malting is a process of stepping germinating and drying grains to convert it into the malt so you just um, dry it and germinate it so that it is converted or the barley is converted into the malt and this malt is used for the braving or whiskey making this is the barley and the uh, malting process is taking place here. The gibberellin also helps in delaying the ripening. A ripening is a process in which fruit uh, causes them to become more palatable. It means palatable means that they have become more sweet and you can enjoy the taste of that fruit. And it also improves the storage of life of banana and grapes. Here you can see these are the unripe bananas while they are the ripe banana and you can see that you will definitely prefer this one why because it is palatable or it is sweet in taste and soft in texture in comparison to the unripe banana so that was all about the gibberellin plant hormone if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video